Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Comitech and today in this video we have a Dell Attitude 5490 laptop with us and this laptop has come for a memory upgrade and a storage upgrade and here you can see that the existing storage capacity is 256 GB and the existing memory for this laptop is 8 GB here and the user wants to upgrade this storage capacity to 512 GB and the memory to 16 GB so in this video I am going to guide you and will show you and that how you can do this hardware upgrade by yourself so first of all we have to shut down this laptop and have to see what is the physical interference configuration for the hardware we need so to open this laptop uh, we have to open the back cover of this laptop which is very easy so here you can see that there are some screws present on the back cover of this laptop so we just have to remove all the screws it is very easy to access this laptop model Here I have unscrewed all the screws these are connected with the spring so they are not detachable and now we will need an opener tool to unlock the locks of this back cover and this cover can be easily removed so friends here you can see this is the internal portion of this laptop and this is the memory module here and this is a storage module which we need to upgrade and before uh, removing any hardware or adding any hardware we need to make sure that we have disconnected the power source for the motherboard and uh, the power source is the battery here is the battery and we will first disconnect this connector from the board so the board doesn't get short in any sense so here you can see that we have an additional uh, memory slot present on the board which can be used to add more memory to the laptop and uh, this is the ddr4 module here if you see this is the ddr4 module which we will require to add uh, to this laptop and this is the nvme storage i think so here is the cut this is the nvme slot present uh, on the board but the module used to, for this laptop is m.2 so let's remove this here you can see that uh, this is the m sata ssd having two cuts on the interface side one on the left on and one on the right side and if we look at the motherboard interface connector here you can see this connector is having a cut on the left side which means that this is the NVMe slot so this uh, slot is capable to adapt the NVMe SSD and the M.2 SATA SSD also so for higher speed we can use the NVMe SSD and now we know that uh, we have a single interface section for the NVMe and the MSATA and we have an add-on slot present here on the board for the memory so now we need a memory add-on memory and a SSD for this laptop so here I have some hardware present in my stock so if we look at here this is the 256 GB the NVMe series we don't need this this is the normal SSD this is also for the 256 GB we don't need this and uh, this is the 512 GB M.2 NVMe so this will be required for this laptop and here I have a memory module this is a 16 GB of memory module the PC4 which means this is the DDR4 memory module for this laptop so if we have a single 16 GB of modules then we will remove this existing 8 GB and we will place the 16 GB of a single memory module for this laptop so let's remove this memory and we'll place this
and this is the storage this is the 512 GB of NVMe storage which can be placed on the board here if you look here this is perfect for this laptop and now we'll place the screw to hold it down so here you can see we have placed the 16 gb of memory for this laptop and the 512 gb of nvme ssd for this laptop and now we will place the power source connector to the motherboard and we'll check the display whether we have the correct memory for this and here we have the display on the screen and what it is saying fde database corrupt please contact support so this error is for the operating system so now we have the ssd placed on the laptop it is blank so we need to install the operating system for this laptop so in this video it was only for the ssd and the hardware upgrade of memory so friends in this video i show you how you can upgrade the storage and the memory for this hardware model so how you like this video please comment in the comment box and if you like this video please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos like this i will be bringing more knowledge videos for you which you can perform by yourself so thanks for watching and thanks for being in this video thank you friends thank you